Thanks for joining me today as we trim nails. I will give you tips throughout the session and at the end you'll see one more tip to helping keep your dogs happy and healthy. Today Jaxie's going to be our model. Thanks for the kisses. Thank you. He is going to show us how we trim nails. His nails are the hardest because they're black. It's easier to do the Cavaliers. It's easier to do Hazel's nails. So we'll do his first and you can kind of see what it's like. First, a little lesson on nail anatomy for dogs. So this is the quick, the pink part, and that's the part we want to avoid. So we're going to trim where the yellow line is. So it's at a slight angle and it's where the nail would touch the ground. Once we've trimmed it, we also want to round the edges slightly and that allows the quick to move back over time and allow it to allow us to cut the nails slightly shorter. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, I use this Dremel brand and it is really nice. It's got a special piece on here to protect their nails so that um, it doesn't hit anything. So it's got a plastic piece on here. So this is made specifically for pet, but it's by this really good Dremel brand. Sometimes a lot of the other ones I've tried in the past, they weren't strong enough, especially for the big, bigger dog's nails. Come here, buddy. I always let them sniff. Yeah, it's just fine, right? I usually put it on a level two. And then you wanna do it straight on like where their feet would touch the ground. You can only spend a few seconds on each nail and then you need to move on. It does get a little bit warm. They'll pull if they feel like it's hurting. The other thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you are shaping around the nail and that'll help the quick grow fast. While I, I keep it flat for the most part, I am going around. First of all, make sure I don't get any sharp edges, but also to make sure that quick is good. Again, only a couple seconds on each nail. If you need to go back, you can go back. Right. Then if you're going to do this on your own, make sure that you check and see if they have any dew paws. Dew paws are, are down here. So they're like kind of like a thumb. Some dogs have had them removed, especially if you get rescued like we do. You look and see if they have them. We have them in everybody except for Bree. Um, I think some of the breeders maybe take them off because they're afraid it'll hurt the siring up. So one more. You're going to need a treat after this, Jackie. Make sure I got that. I've never needed it. Um, there are specific sticks in case you do tend to get too close to the wick. But if you do this like every other week or every third week, you're really not going to get long enough where you're going to need to do that. And I have your other well, closer by me so I could do this. All right. I don't normally do it like this. So he's, what are we doing? But I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. Jax does a lot of running in the backyard so we take him for a walk. The concrete does help. You kind of naturally shape their nails down. But not the best to do shape them. Longer than the others. And then again, we're going to do his two paws and voice it. slow. You, this is your first time. Just do it a little bit, um, especially for the dog's perspective. You've never seen this big thing that makes a lot of noise, a lot of dust. So just take your time with it. Give them lots of praise when they're done. Good boy, Jax. Good boy. And then he's going to get a big treat and that's 
something you love. Yeah, I said the word treat. <laughs> so yeah, you look at your lips already. So I'm gonna get him a treat after I finish his back paws. He's just fine, Charlie, but thanks for checking on him. This is Charlie. He's gonna take a nap while I do this. Can you smell it? Nope. He's just ready to go. So we're just gonna get Charlie started. So again, his are a little bit harder to see because he does have a lot of hair. I do trim his hair around his paws just because it makes it easier for this primarily, but it's still winter time, so I don't want to trim too much of the hair around his feet that it's too get cold. His nails are a little bit smaller than Jax's, so it doesn't take quite as much to trim them. A little longer. Again, their wicks are way far back because I do this every two to three weeks. Every time I bathe them, good job. You check it out. See what I'm doing? Yeah. You can smell it. Your nose away though. And I just kind of keep my finger on their pad of their foot so it pushes out the nail. Good job. And he is a. Uh, we put it back here as well. These two paws are super important to get to. Hair out of the way. Good job. Can I have your next foot? Do your back foot first. He's got like automatic pulling foot, and this is his foot that has the automatic pulling. We call it a slumper foot. He has it, and so does Bree Bree. They just have one foot that kind of always pulls. Sometimes it pulls at bedtime too. Okay. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Thanks for giving me kitten. Not gonna hurt you, I promise. Take me about a minute for a dog. Maybe a little less. Last one on this foot, Charlie. Good job, Charlie. Can we flip you over and do your other side? Some tips for cleaning the dog's eyes on a daily basis. Charlie and I wanted to show you how we do just uh, in-between washes. So every, but every day, every other day, I wipe down the Cavalier's eyes. They can have a little bit of runny eyes. They get blueberries in their food. They also get filtered water and that helps with the runny eyes that these dogs have. I think they, their eyes are fairly good compared to some other Cavaliers and I attribute that to the fact that we do this. So I do this with the three Cavaliers. If sometimes Jax will have some just stuff in his eyes, so I also do that. This is um, BioTrue. It's just a saline solution from Bausch and & Long. And it's like the same stuff that you would put in contact in human's eyes. And I just squirt it on this round. Really, you like I've been up here too long. I'm tired of it. And then I just wipe it along where their mark is. It will get any brown. Um, and it just keeps them from getting crusty, which can then cause them to scratch at their eyes and things like that. So he doesn't love it. None of them love it, but uh, I think Bree Bree has the worst of the eyes and she 
really appreciate when this gets done. Then. Her eyes look so much better and then they don't itch. Right, Chelly? Try not to scratch it across his eyes. Their eyes are very sensitive, so you don't want to scratch their eyes. The vet told me that he, when he was a baby, his somehow his little eyes got scratched. He's got little scratches in his eyes, so I don't know if he played too hard or we also our black lab likes to look at their eyes, so I think he thinks he's being a good papa. But he's so big that I the vet said she doesn't think it's him. Anyway, Charlie has some scratched eyes, so I think that causes him to have a little worse eyesight at night, especially. Sometimes he gets confused about where he's supposed to come in. Could be some doggy dementia. Hard to tell, but uh, anyways, usually I have teeth brushing as well. But just wanted to show you this. Most people know how to do teeth brushing, but this is a nice little option I have. I get this from Costco, but you can also buy it online. Alright, thanks for watching. If you found today's content helpful, please click the like button and also subscribe to the channel so you get information about your pet's health and well-being. Also, I post lots of other content on some other playlists that I have. Subscribe and then hit the notification bell so that you are notified when new content comes out, which is twice weekly for this channel. Thanks again. See you in the next video.